Yo, what is up, you guys? Hope y'all been partying like every day is your birthday, cause we got another one for y'all today. Shouty, I don't even know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna stop that. But, uh, man, I am happy. Today is a good day. Uh, you know, we had a great little stream. And, uh, well, if y'all are seeing this, it's even a better day, cause that means we're able to post again. All is good. And, uh, a big Gucci. So, without further ado, we got a banger for you guys. We got the top 10 upcoming anime we really can't wait to see. We got a lot of awesome, good new looks in here that we're gonna be checking out and seeing what's up with it. And, uh... Man, did I miss you guys. I just hope y'all know I love every single one of you guys. I'm really, really sorry that we had to take that two-month break and I let you guys down. But no, it will not happen again. I pray. And uh, I'm going to tighten my shit up. And we're going to be starting to change the world and get our community of world changers right. So no, I love y'all. And without further ado, let's get right to what we do. And check out these new anime, man. Hey, Chainsaw Man. This is Ashley with Watch Mojo. Gotta love Today, it. we're counting down our picks for the top 10 upcoming anime we really can't wait to see. Oh. This is Jojo? For this list, we're going to be looking at the anime that have been announced and have us hyped beyond belief. Oh, shout Any out. These so these are all y'all guaranteed coming out. You doing backflips? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Made in Abyss, the sun blazes upon the golden city. Whoa, what the shit is that? Did to trauma and heartbreak. How else can you explain why we keep coming back to... That's actually facts, bro. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my TikTok feed, but I feel like when people keep it 100, and you know what I'm saying, get real, that's when people connect the most. And that's when, you know, people are able to relate the most. Because I feel like a lot of people, bro, deal with a lot of shit. They just don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So I think we all can relate to each other if we just opened up a little bit. My love, As they continue their journey into the depths of the abyss. Following on from the exquisite yet harrowing dawn of the deep soul, our trio of rattled cave raiders must oh! continue to further down the inhabitants. Are they on their Star Wars shit, bro? On the bottom level. We can't imagine them facing anything worse than Bond Root, but knowing this series, it will probably find a way to surprise us with its darkness and depravity. Bro, this show look crazy as hell. I feel like I'm transcending right now. Oh shit, come back now. MMO number nine, Komi can't communicate. For those of you not in the know, this is the romantic comedy dominating the modern manga scene. Really? And we couldn't be happier it's getting an Why can't she communicate? In spite of being the most Maybe girl you can't talk to him. famous for her silent demeanor, turns out that the mysterious Komi actually has a communication disorder that prevents she it. is cat years old hey i have a question what is it with anime giving the female characters cat ears like does it stand for something like are they trying to say you know the girl got that book? like i don't what are they what is, what is the cat ear symbolize what was the reasoning behind them putting that in someone let me know in the comments man i appreciate it's it out that the mysterious komi actually has a communication disorder that prevents her from making meaningful connections. Oh, dang, that is, man. Until she finds her first friend in the meek yet good-willed Tadano, a.k.a. the unexpected Giga Chad. Hopefully they can bring Giga the guitars of Komi's insanely adorable <laughs> mannerisms to life. <laughs> Number 8, Madoka Magica the movie, while Pogusnacht rising. Seems like the Damn, they got a long ass title on that shit, bro. Yet. While Rebellion made for a high octane sequel to the original Madoka series, many felt that its ending oh. went too much on. What? This is the movie? Bro, I'm gonna definitely have to watch this if it's a movie. I could finish that in an hour and a. Bro, one day I need to do like an anime movie day where I just watch and binge watch a bunch of movies. Y'all. This looks so cool with the black and white, and then they got like a bunch of TV screens on here. What, what the hell? Many felt that its ending leaned too much on the, well, the unforgiving, dark, and depressing side. Don't spoil it now. 
Oh my god, look so at it! what does this next entry mean? Oh, Will beautiful. Devil Hummerer's plans be undone? Will she find ultimate redemption? She killed the Will cat! Will time travel once again come into play? <laughs> All we do know is that while Pergus can only mean... Oh, like like cats, the cat's been ...is about to make their return. Number seven, Baki, son of Ogre. It's more Baki, which means exactly what you think it does. Impossibly muscular bros. Hey, that guy. Of each other in the world. This is another one I gotta check out. The fight scenes in this one are so nice. I, just, I don't know what it is. They just, they're unexpected. They're unexpected. Like the one we saw with the old man. I didn't think old man McGuckin was going to bring out anything. And they started, you know, whoop -ah, whoop -ah, whoop -ah, started whooping that ass. All these of ways. <laughs> Only this time, it looks like the long-awaited oh. match between father and that son. That man looks so happy about that. Happening. Will we get to see Baki? Oh, their father and son? The unstoppable force that is Yujiro. Are manga fans finally going to be able to see Pickle make his debut? Will Eli Jr. find a way out of the simp stratosphere? Let's just hope Netflix delivers on the punch outs. Holy that shit, that man's like 9 9! Zero. It may not be season 2, but it's certainly the next best thing. Serving as a prelude to the series, Zero swaps out Yuji for Yuta, a high. Y'all, don't get me wrong, this anime is awesome. But you cannot, like, I, I always say, I, I don't really understand why y'all be hating on dubs so much. You know, they're, the dubs aren't really, really that bad. Juju's dub was, is atrocious. We tried watching it on stream. The main character literally, yo, what does it do? My name is Juju. You know, that man literally has no emotion. I am being eaten by a monster. Uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. That's one I'm going to 100% have to watch in sub, but it's a very, very good looking one. The visuals be popping. ...by the cursed spirits of his departed childhood friend. One who will kill anyone and everything to keep him safe. Look, look at the art, bro. Chances are this will be wow. just as hauntingly awesome as the original, especially since so many beloved side characters are set to cameo, albeit younger and less experienced <laughs> sorcerers. Admit it, you'd watch just <laughs> Bro, that dude is so soup, bro. Gojo in some way. Uh-oh, he better show up on him. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that dude is untouchable. Super, superhero. What's it about? Who's involved? We don't know, but we're here for it. They finally announced the title for the long-awaited second Dragon Ball Super movie, and although it sounds a little awkward, we can't wait to see where they go with it. A Dragon Ball movie? That could be good. With some rather bizarre new characters shown off so far, we don't have much to go what by. What the hell is that? For certain, they don't seem to be adapting the Morrow arc just yet. Fingers crossed that this film still delivers, though. Dang, 2022. Number four, Attack on Titan, the final season, part two. Oh, there. Part one blew everyone's collective minds. It's Whoa. We have a season part. Wait, huh? We have the final season part two? Maybe that can redeem Attack on Titan for me. Uh, yo! Whoa! Just calm down, man. I don't know why you shoot me dirty looks like that. I love Attack on Titan. It's still an awesome, awesome anime. I just haven't finished season four yet, and I, I haven't fully grasped the new concept yet, man. You guys know I don't like the time parts. And how shows cut a lot of years in between and then change everything. But uh, they still have amazing fight scenes and good stuff. I'm just still trying to get into the storyline. But now that they have another part two coming out, I'll be able to adapt and get into it a lot, lot more. So honestly, shout out to them. I'm glad they did that. Given how part one blew everyone's collective minds, it's fair to say there's a little bit of anticipation behind this one song of a season. With all sides now bearing down on Paradise Island, we're right on the cusp of seeing how the journey ends for Eren and the rest. 
Will the euthanasia plan go ahead? Is the rumbling still on the cards? What exactly is Eren's endgame? Will Armin I'm saying, get what's the plan? Annie? All we know is that the rematch between Wait, Eren and <laughs> Wait. Who, who wants to get the first base with Annie, bruh? Cards. What exactly is Eren's endgame? Will Armin actually get to first base with Annie? Yo, that man Armin's down bad, bro. She's in a statue. She's in a crystal. Just calm down, Armin. Just calm down. All we know is that the rematch between Eren and Reiner is going to be a must watch. Oh, shit. Reiner. Number three. That's going to be a good fight, man. Over Entertainment District Arc. Hot off the literal huh? hype train that was the Demon Slayer movie, the next installment of Tanjiro's monster hunting career is right around the corner. What? And from the looks of things, it's lost none of its quality. Swapping out the Mugen train for the red light district, it looks like Tanjiro and the rest will be partnering up with the Sound Hashira to foil whatever schemes that Muzan has boiling amidst the quality. Bro, is this a literal... movie? Or is this like season two? Yo, and that been said 2021. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all. Yeah. Demon Slayer. I don't give a shit what none of y'all gotta say, bro. The the art in that one is by far my favorite in any anime. I mean, you can love or hate the storyline. You can love or hate the fans. You can love or hate the anime. But you can't tell me that the graphics in it aren't beautiful. And that they don't do a killer job with the with the animation in it. So honestly, I am excited, excited, excited for season arc 2. I'm going to have to find the exact date on that. But that is going to be fire, bro. We're definitely going to have to, you know what I'm saying, watch that one on the stream. Right, oh, yeah. Red Light District. It looks like Tanjiro and the rest will be partnering up with the Sound Hashira to foil whatever schemes that Muzan has boiling amidst the that dude looks soon, bro. of the night. Someone may want to check on Zenitsu in case his head explodes. I can't wait for that. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6, Stone Ocean. She's here. She's finally here. Following on from Golden Wind, the Joestar mantle has now been handed down to the Jojo vs. first female main character. And wouldn't you know it, she just happens to be Whoa. the daughter of Jotaro. We won't even dare speculate on what beautiful madness is ahead of us, only that we can't wait to see how much of a beast Jolene is, and just how well she can nail that all-important yada yada daze. Yada yada, Hana? Material already. Yada yada da wa. Number one, Chainsaw Man. Hey, Chainsaw Man. Spoiling us. While they have a fair number of projects on the horizon, most of which... I forgot how nasty that damn food was in that show, though, bruh. See, I don't know if I'm a light Chainsaw Man just because of that. Y'all know I love my food. I love my food. I would take the world, you know what I'm saying, food over pretty much anything, bruh, any day. I love me some food. Especially them good eats. Like a good bowl of ramen? Oh my gosh. So for me to see spoiled and nasty, messed up food, that shit gonna break my heart, bro. I'm not gonna cap. It's, I'm not gonna be able to watch this shit. they have a fair number of projects on the horizon, most of which are already guaranteed to slay, the trailer for Chainsaw Man just... Hey, he's smoking that gas. Not only is it based on one of the craziest, goriest, and most hardcore manga in recent memory, Yo, the, house. But the animation from what we've seen so far looks absolutely exquisite. For those of you that have zero, that one's gonna be awesome, man. These bloody exploits so magnificent, you're in for a treat. Bring on the carnage! Oh yeah, I definitely agree with that one, y'all. Yeah. Chainsaw Man, I think, is going to be one of the biggest animes just because I feel like it really is going to tie into a lot of people's lifestyles. I feel like it's going to have a really good storyline. It seems like it has a really good animation wise. It also seems like it has, you know, different worlds. They got really, really gory stuff and then they're playing at the nice little beach, you know, so it's kind of a little bit of good stuff for everybody. 
we'll just have to see how they move the storyline along and to see how it plays out but honestly cannot wait for some of these releases demon slayer that one a few others we are going to be having our eyes on this year let me know in the comments which one was y'all's favorite and now we're going to be checking a lot of these out together so i'd love to see you on the twitch sometimes and uh man it is good to be back i love you guys and i hope y'all do have a fantastic day today man Deuces.